Lake Mead continues to dry up at an extremely fast rate. You can see here from this picture in the 1980s and 1983 compared to now, just the absolute, I mean, drastic. I mean, it was overflowing at the sides there. Now it's dropping extremely low, getting to the point to where they're saying that in just not much farther, that if it drops to a certain degree that they're not far off from, that the turbines within the dam won't even spin and it produces a large amount of electricity for Nevada and for the region. That's the point of this video, not to create fear. I'm sure that people in that area, they'll be fine for a little bit. You know, we've got winter coming up. I mean, it's kind of strange to me because where I live, it seems that every year things don't change. I feel like winter is pretty much as cold as it normally is. Summer is just about the same. I mean, if anything, it seems to be colder at times. And then the rain is constant ever since. I, I don't know. It's just pretty strange to see. I don't know where the water is going. Maybe it's being taken by someone else along the way before it reaches here. It's just pretty strange to see it disappearing. We also have weather manipulation and it's been going on for years in so many different levels of geoengineering in the skies and in the food and different ways that are definitely offset the natural ways of earth and what it used to be like say in 1983 but again not to spread fear because that is definitely not my point ever in any of my videos i mean we have a great hope those of us who believe in jesus christ the greatest thing ever is coming soon for us our eternal redemption but honestly if i lived in the regions i would be aware of this watching this very closely for many different reasons keeping water stored in case they start doing serious water cutbacks or planning for what to do if electricity goes out, if these turbines don't spin, and even potentially, if you're able to plan maybe getting away to a different area. I mean, not to be so drastic, but it really just seems if this route continues on the path that it's on, that in not much longer, this dam won't even be producing electricity. You can see this chart here, and the lake is dropping approximately a foot a week. And again, it's very strange because Las Vegas and Phoenix and these areas surrounding this region are some of the fastest growing cities in the country. And it just presents a very real scenario in the future where there could be absolutely water refugees where water runs out and you have to leave. And you don't want to be in Phoenix or Las Vegas if the water runs out. I mean, the distance you have to travel and if it's in the summertime, I mean, that's, that's seriously dangerous. So I say this as a warning. And again, it really just seems like more foreshadowing. We're like in the birth pains and we're at the beginning of sorrows at the time before the absolute end. And we're starting to see some of these things of perilous times, wars, rumors and wars, droughts, famines, these pestilence. I mean, these are things that are have been told would happen and they're starting to happen. So it's just smart to be aware of your surroundings and what's going on here to be better prepared for just what region you're going to be in as we move closer to times that get tough and again trust in the lord if you're following him he's known for delivering people from impossible situations so that's where our main hope needs to always stand so currently the lake is at 1040 feet and if it gets down to 895 feet the water won't flow past the dam anymore and it will be considered a dead pool level the lake hasn't been this low since 1937 and at this rate again at about a foot a week it's not looking too good unless we start getting some massive rains and i guess we've seen all the snow melt by now but it's it's really strange i don't get it i mean what was it this year or last year colorado saw one of the largest snow packs it's seen in in years so i just i'm not understanding where this water's going you know around me the rivers stay the same level the rain seems to be about the same i'm not it's confusing where this is going who knows openings in the earth weather manipulation somebody you know who knows at this point they could be even diverting water upstream no one knows about to complete different areas to you know <laughs> who knows fill their bunkers because we know they're preparing for things to get worse they don't care they egg it on so you know it's crazy we don't know exactly what's going on but i just wanted to point out some of these things you know it's good to be aware of the surroundings especially for people in these regions there's always things going on and it's just smart to plan ahead as these things go on and i mean if these lakes completely dry up and there's no electricity or water to these regions there could be people just mass migrations of people leaving because of water and electricity so it's just important to keep an eye on these things i pray everybody's well out there no fear all hope in jesus christ to live is christ to die is gain thanks for watching and god bless